Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what can I tell you? Right. Our new guildmaster is an Argonian, sees all colors. She has us all hunting down the Daedra and their damned anchors. You might have seen them. Enormous chains, plagues of Daedra boil out to lay waste to the countryside. Hard fights. Guildmaster Jofnir passed away recently, very suddenly. I always thought he'd die with a blade in his hand. But he passed away in his sleep, called to sovereign guard by his ancestors. We all miss him, but Colors has proven to be a very able leader. No, we only draw blades in service to the Guild. We're technically neutral in the war between the three alliances. We love the Eagle Banner and Her Majesty, of course. But every race, every creed belongs under the Guild Hall's roof. Ha! <laughs> There's yeah, a good question. We train our members in special techniques. And the higher-ups are always looking for motivated members to help with special projects. You never know, you might be the next Yofnir. to choose from. Welcome to the Guild Hall, Knowledge Seeker. What brings you here today? We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Vanus Galarian, one of the founding members of this august body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the Artificer, to ensure our future success. We are neutral in the war between the three alliances. When we're on guild business, we kneel to no king or queen. That's why you'll see members of every race in our halls.
Welcome to the Guild Hall, Knowledge Seeker. What brings you... We're book hunters. We provide training in unique spells and abilities. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. Excellent. I know we'll all be drawing blades together soon enough. Now, what? Right. Ha! Uh, <laughs> yes, good question. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you as an associate of the... How may I serve?
This project has been nothing but one disaster after another. How am I expected to get this ziggurat built on time when things constantly go wrong? Don't mind me. I'm just having one of those days. Our blessing stone? Do you know what happens if we give up our blessing stone? Well, neither do I. But I'm sure it won't put us back on schedule or end our string of disasters. I'm not one to disagree with the Arch Cannon, but that's a terrible idea. Lord Vivek? Well, why didn't you say so? But I'll need your help before I can turn over the Blessing Stone. The passage that leads to the Consecration Chamber collapsed, trapping some of my workers. If you can clear the way, you can borrow the stone. I appreciate the help. Just remember that you're only borrowing the stone. It needs to be back in the Consecration Chamber before the next shift, or we'll never get this ziggurat constructed in time. Thank you. I'll go tell the Overseer what you did for me. Please, Vivek! The Outlander returns. I understand there was trouble at the construction site, but you were able to save a few of the workers. Lord Vivek always draws the straightest arrow from the quiver. Praise the Tribunal. Did you bring the Blessing Stone? Poet, 
and reveal the source of Lord Vivek's distress. Clockwork mage? A Daedric cultist? Something interfered with the ritual, my lord. But we may have learned something. Excuse me while I compare the results to our previous research. Between the cryptic warnings of the Ancestor Spirit and the unexpected result of the divination ritual, I fear there may be more astir than I imagined. We solved the greatest mysteries by accident, I suspect. Hmm. I should write that down. We learn from every action we take. Failure or success, each result teaches us something, at least in the larger sense. To be more specific, no, not as much as I hoped. Images that suggest avenues to investigate, riddles to solve. Let me tell you a secret, Outlander. It concerns a living god, an energy that fades like daylight as dusk spreads across the land. Listen well, and speak not a word. My divine energy, it drains away. Whether from illness or foul malady, I know not. You must travel the land and seek answers on my behalf. But first, gratitude before service, as I have written. So thank you. The ritual confirmed my worst fears. Divine energy flows out of me for no reason that I can discern. I felt the power imbued within my blessing stone get wrenched away as soon as you added it to the ritual. I couldn't stop it. To quote my own words as the warrior poet, no lock exists that the determined thief cannot open. Follow the trail of my missing energy and try to discover the identity of the enemy Lavul's ancestor warned us about. Something drains my energy. Find Archcanon Tarvis in his office, and ask if he gleaned anything useful from the ritual. If not, I know his earlier research indicated new avenues to investigate. Go where he tells you, and learn what you can. My divine energy diminishes with every passing moment, but the ritual confirmed my affliction is not natural. I regret that I could not reveal the full nature of these dire circumstances until your trustworthiness had been demonstrated. Yes, while Archcanon Tarvis has always been cautious about ideas and ideologies that didn't originate within the Tribunal, and recently, that prudence has grown a thousandfold. He's a faithful servant, however, despite his narrow-mindedness. They always chide me about my flagrant displays of divinity. But so far, I am the only one of the living gods whose power is fading. Almalexia hoards her energy and has barricaded her temple against attack. As for Sotha Seal... My brother travels. We have not heard from him for quite some time. But I sense that he remains safe and in possession of his full power. Funny. You always wanted to discover the limits of our divinity. Perhaps I will solve that mystery for him. I've always used my power freely and without detriment. I create the blessing stars, hold the moonlit above the city, and perform a hundred miracles a day to benefit my people. I begin to feel the toll this liberal application of divinity costs me. I care little for my own safety, but my people are another matter. Without my power to stop it, the moonlit will crash into the city and kill hundreds, perhaps thousands of innocents. And that would be just the start of Vardenfell's woes. At first, I barely noticed the loss of energy. But as I continue to grow weaker, 
the more it feels like an attack against my person. Besides, the ancestor spirit confirmed that an ancient enemy was to blame. We just need to determine who before... Let us not dwell on disasters to come when we have problems enough to deal with in the here and now. Consult with Archcanon Tarvis and discover the source of this attack. Then we can put an end to it and not worry about what might have been.